Hey guys, Rear McCoy 401. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, the weather has changed again. The wash and go has ran its course. It's done. It's finished. It's done. It's finished. So, we're going in with some argan oil today, honey. We're going in with cream of nature. Cream of Nature Shampoo, Cream of Nature Conditioner. And this is the Moisture and Shine Shampoo and Intensive Conditioning Treatment Conditioner. All right. And this is all from the Organ uh, Organ Oil from Morocco. And this is a little what I have left of the leave-in. So I won't be using my rice water leave-in. But we're going to do us some twists. We're going to put some twists up. So are you ready? Are you ready for the twist? Play. Get a fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the fan, that's what they call me. this about the Argan Oil Cream of Nature Shampoo. It only takes a little, okay? It only takes a little, a little, not a little. It only takes a little and you get a good lather and it's very moisturizing as well. Now, this Cream of Nature, I never used the shampoo and the conditioner from the Argan Oil line. I've only used just the regular cream of nature and you can definitely feel the oils in here and everything. So I'm about to rinse this out because this is good to go. And then I'm going to go in with the conditioner. Conditioner. So I'm just going to talk a little bit while the conditioner is in my hair um, to let you guys know if you have not went picked up these two products. Go get them. This video is not sponsored. My hair sponsors me. So I'm not going to tell you anything that I don't think is good for my hair. So this is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo. Okay. And then this moisturizing. And it says intensive conditioning treatment. Uh, strengthens and imparts moisture and prevents hair breakage. This is their conditioner and it's not the leave-in conditioner. This is just the regular conditioner. So while that is sitting on my hair, I'm going to take the time to detangle my hair. Okay, so bear with me. I picked up these products. I said in the year 2020, in 2020, I wanted to try more products. I wanted to venture out. So I went and caught me some products. And I'm going to be using these products throughout my natural hair journey for 2020. Because I set goals for my natural hair in the year 2020. And it's to get more healthier hair and more longer hair. So I am just going to comb through, uh, detangle my hair with this conditioner on there. I may let it set for a few minutes. I don't know exactly if it says I need to let it set for a few minutes or not. But it feels so good to my scalp that why not? Like, why wouldn't you? You know? So... It's very moisturizing. The slip is very good. And it's thick. It is a thick conditioner. I had to take the top off to get the conditioner out of the little sprouts because my hands were slippery. But it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. So now just simply detangling. After this, we're going to take two more steps and this video will be done 
And when I finish conditioning my hair, I may make my water just a little bit cooler so I can close in some of that moisture. So the entire head is detangled. Hair smells good. Time to go and rinse it out. Actually, let's be let's be professional. Let's be professional this year. Let's see. 10 to 15 minutes. Hooded dryer. Place plastic cap on the head. Sit under a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes. You all know I don't like the hooded dryers. However, I do have a deep conditioning cap. So I'm going to let this sit on my head for 10 to 15 minutes. And then once I finish doing some chores around the house, work up a little body heat, I'm going to jump in the shower. Hope I don't break my butt by jumping in the shower. But I'm going to jump in the shower, rinse this out, come back, apply the leave-in, put some twist up for you guys, and that'll conclude this video. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell because like I said, I am averaging about three to four videos per, per week, okay? Per week, and I want quality content. So if it's some content that you guys want me to record or anything like that, just drop it down in the comment section down below. 2020, year two of my natural hair journey. I reached my goals for 2019, and I'm going to reach my goals for 2020 if the Lord say the same. So I'll catch you guys when I get out of the shower, and I'm ready to twist up my hair. All right, guys, I'm ready. I have taken a great, great shower. Oh, yeah, and rinsed my conditioner out, yes. And I always use these little t-shirt towels by Evolve. You can find them on Amazon. They hold in that moisture and don't dry your hair out or snag your hair when you're trying to dry your hair out. So we are going to simply get started by sectioning off our hair. We're going to section off our hair. And it's probably, you see, I've, I've used this part for so long that it's just there. So we're gonna section off our hair. We're gonna comb, brush through our hair. We're gonna add our leave-in conditioner. Oh, my hair feels just as moisturized as it did with the conditioner on it. So that is a plus. That is a plus. I'm simply just going through right now, making sure there are no tangles. I will be speeding up the video during the twisting process, but these steps are very important. So here we have the Argan Oil Strength and, Rest and Restore, um, Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm just gonna spray this in. Make sure you rip lifting up your hair so that all the strands can get covered. Okay, got that in. I'm gonna put my hair in sections. So I love working in sections, but my hair makes it easier. I will be starting in the front. In the back, I'll be doing off camera. So I'll try to make sure I have good clean parts. Not perfect, but good enough for me to do what I need to do. So this back part here, I'm just gonna put it up in a ponytail. Once I work in the back, I normally work in four sections. 
four rows in the back. And I lay my twist and I always make sure that you have a twist going down the middle part of your hair. So now that I've gotten the leave in in, I'm gonna brush the leave in in. And we're gonna be using the Cream of Nature Twist and Curl Pudding. Okay. I'm gonna be adding the Twist and Cream. Now, let me show you the consistency before I get started with the video. It's a thick, creamy pudding, which is very good because I have low porosity hair. And like right now, my strands are open because once your strands close and you have low porosity hair, it is very hard to get product into your strands unless you use some warm water to open up your strands. And that's why I like to use that towel, that t-shirt uh, head, head wrap and also because it keeps that moisture in your hair. So I'll just brush that in. And I normally do the LCO method, which is a liquid or leave-in, a cream, and an oil. And for my oils, I've been using Blue Magic. So we have the Blue Magic castor oil right here. I'm just gonna take a little of it, rub my hands together, and rake it through my hair to seal in that all that moisture from the leave-in, from the shampoo, the conditioner, to the leave-in and to the cream. You're just sealing it all in. And I brush it all in again, make sure every strand is coated, every strand is accounted for. And then I start to twist. So I have my first section right here. I'll pin this up. This section is already ready to go. Okay, so let's start twisting. my hair 
feeling extra soft, extra moisturized, which I love. And the shine is not from the Blue Magic alone, okay? The shine is from both the, it's from the shampoo and the conditioner, and it's also from the pudding and the leave-in because shine is something that it says on the leave-in and you also see it on the pudding you see it you see it everywhere so the moisture and the shine is not just coming from the blue magic alone okay i wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that my hair is feeling amazing amazing so I would not keep you guys for too much longer. I know you were enjoying that free YouTube music. I don't have to worry about no copyright. No copyright, honey. All I can tell you is that this is going on perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And if you see me brush it and you don't see me have to go through now, sometimes toward the ends of your twist. It may get a little tangled or it may feel a little rough. You wanna go ahead and take a rat tail comb or your brush, a rat tail comb or your brush or whatever it's called, and you wanna just smooth it out, go over the ends of it. And always at the end of your twist, you always wanna make sure you leave enough hair to coil and close that twist off, okay? See, do you see how juicy they're looking? Do you see how juicy they are looking? Yes. And I'm gonna do one more little section over here. I know that this prop, this little piece probably won't even matter, but it matters to me. It matters to me. So, Let's continue. And remember, I'll be going off camera to do the back because I'm doing the exact same thing in the front, in the back as I'm doing in the front. So I just don't want you to have to just be staring at my hair.
completely put in all of the twist. All of the twist. And I can honestly tell you guys, and this is so, so serious right now. The whole line smells good. The whole line smells good. The whole line feels good. Everything. On this here, strength and uh, leave-in, strength and shine, leave-in conditioner, you shake it to activate it, okay? So just in case... I forgot to shake it on some parts. I said I was going to go back and shake it to activate it. All right. Cream of nature, argan oil, shampoo, conditioner, 10. Shake and activate leave-in conditioner, 10. This is me rating it on a scale of 1 to 10. Twist and curl pudding shapes and smooth for stretched out curls. We will see as of the me putting it on and the way it smells and the way it feels and everything. My hair feels so moisturized, guys. So, so moisturized. And I know you can see the shine. 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So good and juicy. Oh, my. Goodness. Look, just one more look. Mmm. It feels so good and juicy. I, I just and I didn't never I did not go back and add no more water. If I felt like I needed a little moisture, I went in with the leave-in conditioner. That's what I did. That's what I did. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Whoop me? You gonna whip me? No. My LCO was the leave-in cream and oil. Leave-in. Even though moisture, water is the number one moisturizer, but I wanted just this product on my hair. So let's see how it turns out.